This video will show you how to stream your Xbox One to your Windows 10 through the Xbox app and into OBS so you can add your overlays or webcams or whatever you want to do. First you need a display capture. I'll go on the assumption you only have one display and you will probably want to uncheck the capture cursor. As you can see there is no cursor being recorded right now. I'll leave it on so you can see exactly what I'm pointing at. Now next you will want to remove any kind of icons in the background because you probably don't want people looking at your desktop. So you just go, you right click anywhere on the desktop, you go to view and you say show desktop icons and that has unchecked the icons and then if you want it back you just go like that. So we'll go like that and get rid of all those icons. I can't help you with this bar down here except that you could probably unlock the taskbar and then move it down, I think. Or you could say hide taskbar, something like that. I'm sure you could probably figure it out. Next we go to the Xbox app. If you have your Xbox running right now, you will find a little green dot right here. If you don't, it'll offer to turn your Xbox on. I have not had any luck with that. I have a Ethernet cable connection to the Xbox One and it seems maybe wireless is the only way to uh, get it to come on. I don't know, but let's stream that. And you'll notice there's a little microphone with a mute symbol. You will want to unmute that. And you can also see there's a headset icon on the Xbox One right now. And that means that the Xbox One thinks that I have a headset and a microphone because it's going to use this very microphone for co-op. So if you're doing multiplayer or co-op, it'll actually use your microphone from your PC. Isn't that gr great? So you don't have to uh, buy an adapter or, or anything. Now one thing to note is if you tab over to OBS, it automatically shuts down the Xbox app. So when you come back, it says, uh-oh, it's been paused. So you want to resume, and you want to also unmute your mic again and see it detected my headset. Now, if you see a muted mic icon like you saw up here in here, then you may have to just uh, switch over to OBS and do the resume again, and it should pick it up. Next thing you want to look for is privacy settings on your Windows 10 and microphone and you'll want to have it on and then I only allow Xbox to use it and that is that now I will go ahead and turn on my camera I have a really good camera hooked into my Blackmagic card and there we go now, whoops. now you wouldn't want to shrink that down and maybe center your face in the in the thing here. There you go. And you can put all kinds of overlays and all that kind of stuff. You know how to do that with the image and media source will play videos, that kind of thing. So you know how to do all that kind of stuff. And now you know how to get the Xbox streaming and all that kind of thing. So hopefully this has helped you, and if you'd like to, go ahead and follow me on twitch.tv slash wheatstonehomes and youtube.com slash wheatstonehomes. I'll see you next time.